artifacts are very powerful items in World of Kings that add additional stat points to the most powerful abilities on your character's talent tree. If you learn to understand just how these artifacts work, they can set you leaps and bounds ahead of everyone else in your guild and actually make you the top player for your given class. In this video, you will learn how to use the artifact system to drastically improve the power of your character. All you need to do is just follow along and make a few adjustments to attenuate your artifacts to your specific character's strengths. Now, before we get started, I would like to ask that you please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the little notification bell if you enjoy my content and want to be updated in real time whenever I release a new video. I'm honestly very, very grateful for anyone and everyone that helps me grow my channel. Good day. Let's begin by opening the artifact interface. Click the button to the right of your inventory icon to open up your menu and then click artifact. Here we have the artifacts that are currently available in the game, Eudora's Burning Rage, Thelona's Mercy, Delo's Holy Blessing, and Kia's Eternal Gaze. The game actually indicates that there are seven artifacts in total, and so I'm assuming that uh, the other three will be released at a later time. So how exactly do you obtain these artifacts, you ask? Well, you begin the game with no artifacts, and you acquire them by progressing through the game in a few different areas. For example, completing the level 60 main quest line will give you Eudora's Burning Rage, Flona's Mercy, and Delo's Holy Blessing. And other artifacts such as Kia's Eternal Gaze can be obtained through through other means, such as by increasing your reputation with certain factions and purchasing them through vendors with gold. You slowly collect pieces of each artifact, which you then ultimately combine together to summon the completed item. Okay, so why are these items so powerful? Well, there are two mechanics that you need to take into account to answer that question. The first of which is leveling your artifacts, and the second would be what is called reforging them. I will explain these mechanics in sequence. Leveling up your artifacts will net you additional percentage-based stats that are applied actually directly to your character. To illustrate this, let's look at Eudora's Burning Rage. Tap the artifact and then you will see all of the new icons on the left and right hand side. Click through each of them and you will see that every time this artifact is leveled up, it will give you the displayed stat. To level up your artifact, you must use what is called Tainted Energy, which is displayed in the top center of the screen here. You get this Tainted Energy primarily by killing Tainted Creatures on the Faction Island, so first make sure that you've joined a guild so that you can have access to the Faction Island to begin with, and then after you've joined a guild, select PvP, go to the Faction tab, and then select Go to Island of Hero in the bottom left-hand corner. To farm tainted creatures quickly, go to the location in the middle of the map and make sure to stand on the side of the altar that is closest to your faction. There will most likely already be a good number of people from your faction there farming their monsters, so join a raid party if you can and share the kills so that you can get out of there quicker. Now, you can only kill 500 of these tainted creatures per day, so make sure that you don't treat your tainted creatures like many of us treat the gym on leg day with excuses and neglect. You can check your creature kill progress by clicking the drop down arrow in the upper right hand corner, selecting Expedition, and then looking at this window here. After you have collected enough Tainted Energy, go back to your artifact window, select Purify, and convert your Tainted Energy into Pure Energy. You can then use this Pure Energy to level the artifact skills. Certain artifacts have different stats as they level, so just level the artifact that has the best stats for your class first. Pretty straightforward. Now, I mentioned before that the primary means of obtaining this Tainted Energy is by killing your 500 Tainted Creatures every single day. However, there are also other means to acquire this Tainted Energy, such as by correctly answering Barak's Trial whenever it randomly appears, which will actually award you a chest that grants 50 Tainted Energy. Additionally, you can also get Tainted Energy from attending a wedding celebration. If you ever see this in the Event tab, click it to travel to the center of Scarabear City. When this appears on the screen, click it to be instanced into the wedding ceremony where you can complete a couple of very quick quests and then stand near the center crystal to receive 15 Tainted Energy every few seconds until this timer here runs out, at which point you can leave. Rumor has it that in the first two weeks of this game's launch, there were just hundreds and hundreds of back-to-back -back weddings, and everyone maxed out their artifact levels just from attending these weddings alone. Yeah, I wish I was there. <laughs> and now for the part of the video where you get to see the craziest stat potential with these artifacts. And that is, of course, with the second mechanic, reforging. Open your artifact screen again and select the reforging tab on the right-hand side of the screen. Each one of these artifacts have a two-tiered mini talent tree that just straight up add these values directly to your character's main talent tree. Do you see how this force release here reads as a plus two and this other one reads as a plus two as well? Take that and navigate over to your skill talent tree and you will see that I now have force release at level five, which was originally only at level one. What this means is that you can use these artifacts to hyper boost one or more of your stats and abilities if you're lucky enough to get a favorable reforge. 
To reforge your artifacts, you will need this item called Flona's Essence. The reforge is always random, but don't worry. If you're unsatisfied with your reforge, you are always given the option to keep the previous reforge until you get one that is more favorable. The other artifacts require different essence types, which are specific to their artifact, and the way to obtain these higher tiered essences is to actually merge two essences into one of the next tiered essence, and so on and so forth. The middle tree of each artifact can be standard percent modifiers and are actually given a value of plus one all the way up to plus five. The bottom tree can be select specialty talents and are limited to a value of plus one to plus two. If you combine these artifact bonuses, you can increase talents that appear in the middle line by a total of all the way up to plus 30, and you can increase talents that appear on the bottom line up to a total of plus five. This is insane because you could potentially roll a plus five on the middle line for the crit damage talent for each of your artifacts and just one shot someone if you ever land a critical hit in PvP. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Something that you might not have known is that you can actually unlock multiple artifact decks all with different reforge rolls and use them, well, for different situations. I have my specific artifact decks for my specific scenarios, but most people will really only need two sets for PvE and PvP respectively. Unlock them with blue diamonds and swap between them freely with this button here. As a quick note, these artifact talents will only add the stat to your talent tree if you already have at least one point invested in that talent on your tree. So again, if you have rolled a stat on your artifacts that you have not already specced into on your talent tree, you will not get the bonuses from that artifact talent. In a perfect world, you would want to get plus five for the middle talents and plus two for the bottom talents on all artifacts that all modify talents that you actually use. The reason why this is such a crazy power boost is because if you're lucky enough, you can actually stack points into talents like Mana Torrent, which goes from a plus 1% overall damage increase at level 1 to a plus 5% overall damage increase at level 5. And for this particular skill, for my class as a Frost Whisper, this 5% overall damage increase is essentially effective at all times as long as you're casting and keeping the stacks active. That's, that's just crazy. Also, when more of these artifacts are released, you'll have more options in terms of talents that you can invest in and max out. I know that this might have been a little bit overwhelming, but honestly, just take your time with these. I would focus on getting at least plus ones on the bottom line for every talent that you use that is important to your class first. That way you will get guaranteed marginal power increases at a base level, and then you can save up your Flona's essences and slowly work your way up through RNG to those perfect rolls with plus fives and plus twos. And with that, now you are all artifact masters. <laughs> Please subscribe for more World of Kings content and guides coming very soon. Now let's watch some boss fights to see my DPS after getting some good reforges. Enjoy your day. What? You will never be forgiven. 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 You will never be forgiven.
You will never be forgiven. I... I... I'm filled with the blessings of the wind revived me. You will never be forgiven. You will never be forgiven. You will never be forgiven. I was wrong, Christina. I... Uh, forgive you.